You go now? I want to go now? No, it's just live. It's very just. It's always justified. <laughs> We're live. Hello, I, I am Mark Steele. This is Stephen Hyman. <laughs> Can you restart it? <laughs> no, just go. We can edit it out. We'll, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> It's probably just completely disregarded. <laughs> you say, yeah, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix it in post, okay, guys? Hello, this is Mints and Movies. I'm your host today, Mark Steele. This is Stephen Hyman. That's Evan Rowe. And that's Harley Tyler. Uh, today we'll be covering um, American Psycho, the 2000. Would you say it's a slasher film? Yeah. The slasher film, including Christian Bale. Um, yeah. So we'll go down to the basic um, facts. Um, it was released in 2000, the year 2000. Um, it's rated R. Uh, Includes, uh, it's directed by Mary Mary Heron. Uh, it's adapted from a novel by, uh, written by Brett Easton Ellis, American Psycho. Um, the screenplay writers are Mary Heron, which is also the director. And how would you how would you say the name? Gunivar? Gunivar? I'd say so. I don't know exactly. And Gunivar Turner. Um, its main cast is Christian Bale, um, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Bateman, Chloe Chloe Sigmini. Which is his secretary, which is honestly one of the more frequent characters you see. Jared Leto, who is Paul Allen, a fellow co worker, and Willem Dafoe, who plays Donald Kimball, who is Detective Kimball. So, first we'll get in. Uh, what, what, are you, what, are you, what are your opinions on the movie, Stephen? Oh, it's a great movie. Ten, uh, well, not 10 out of 10, but 9 out of 10 movie. I mean, it's one of my personal favorite movies like of all time. What about you, Adam? I think it's a pretty good movie. It has some downsides, though. Other than well, that, it was pretty great. How about you, Harley? Uh, I think it sucked. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me what my opinion is. I think it's horrible. Oh, well, first we'll get off to the basic plot of the film. Uh, do you want to do that, or do you, you want me to do it? Oh, you can go. Some loser thinks he's cool because he's a stock broker. So the movie begins. Uh, he's sad. Like, what a crazy movie. He's not sad. He's it's just crazy. crazy. He's a psycho. Well, I don't know. I mean, the movie begins uh, on Wall Street in New York. He's a stockbroker who makes a lot of money. Um, and it really kind of shows the 80s lifestyle of, like, yuppies. So he's, you know, very <laughs> – He's very well in tune with, like, his hair and how he dresses. And He wants to be as perfect as he can be. Yeah, he does how many crunchies a day. And I mean, he's in, like, top-tier physical shape. And essentially what he is is he's a very wealthy, you know, like, stockbroker and everything. And, you know, you sh it shows, like, the petty ladder that they're all trying to, like, one-up each other. But inside, he's a serial killer. He like brutally like murders people. So, uh, well, then I guess, and then the movie kind of like progresses from on. Well, what do you have to say, boys, Steve? About what? About how the movie progresses. Oh, uh, I mean, you can show like I don't know. It shows how further in the movie you can tell he's starting to lose his grip of reality and just. I don't know becoming crazy. I mean, at one point he throws a chainsaw like off a balcony and like kills this girl. So I think it's one of the first, isn't that one of the first scenes where no, no, he kills somebody? Well, yeah, right in the beginning he kills this homeless man and his dog, which is kind that's of sad. That's the beginning, the end. No, the homeless man, pretty, no, that's in the beginning. Oh, the homeless man's in the end. The no, no, it's like the beginning scene. That's, that's the chainsaw is the end. No, no, it's no. the opposite. The chainsaw is yeah. near the beginning, and the chainsaw is the beginning. Not, because the chainsaw is whenever that girl is running down the stairs. That's the beginning. That's, no, no, it's not. not. That's like the middle of. He's with the. Yeah, that's the that's beginning. The beginning How are you getting to tell <laughs> no, That's the second. We can time, pull this up. No, that's the second time the girls go to his. Yes, you guys are crazy. crazy. That's the second time. So it's the turning ahead. The first time they just because they remember, he doing. Yeah. That crazy. It must be like that effect. Where you're no, it's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm pulling this up. I have watched the movie more recently. I'm pulling this up. I would know better than Mark. The, the homeless man is not in the beginning. The homeless man is after that. No, sure. it's not. You. Yeah, the homeless man is. Huh? Yeah. The homeless I'm man sure it is. is after he kills the girl. With the no, it's the not. I'm no, pulling it up. Bad. Okay, why does it matter? We're going live right <laughs> it now. It doesn't right? matter. Everyone. He's on this channel. Can see. I didn't realize. <laughs> okay, just go back to it. No, no, no. It doesn't matter that much. It does. It does to me. <laughs> look up a synopsis on IMDb. Find it. What do you want me to look up? Look up IMDb. Okay. Right, while he's doing that, what was your guys' favorite scenes? No, no, no. Of course. 
<laughs> I definitely say my favorite scene is uh, I don't know. It's either where um, Lewis uh, Patrick puts his uh, his hands around Lewis to strangle him, but he doesn't realize that Lewis is actually like gay. And, and so he finds it like kinky. Yeah, he actually yeah, says to him like, "Oh, why, why here? You don't know why? Why? Oh, how long I've wanted this." <laughs> Mine was the pole. Paul Allen's. Yeah. Killing Paul Allen. That was my classic thing, too. He does. <laughs> look, this is towards the end of the movie. No, it's not. Yes, look, it up this, look at this scroll down. Look at the synopsis. What is the synopsis? It's just, tell, it's just literally what the movie is. No. I really. I think it's. Uh, uh, story. Or do you want to explain the Paul Allen scene and how it came up to that point? Or no. Well, Paul Allen scene, uh, Paul Allen's like, he handles the Fisher account. Yeah. This is the Fisher account, which is this very like high profile um, like uh, account that he handles with money and stuff like that. So, of course, there's like, there's like natural jealousy. And Paul, it's like so, um, he's so like driven by his ego, he doesn't even realize that Patrick Bateman. It's like that's him, and he, he calls him by another name and thinks that he's somebody else. So Patrick, who has like this like burning, which is like hatred. Yeah, definitely. He has a hatred for Paul, so he kind because of because Paul like one ups him every once in a yeah. while on just little things that it aggravates him enough to push him over the edge. So he cons Paul Allen to come back um, to his apartment, and then I mean he gets Paul like all drunk. Paul's like really drunk, and then essentially he he splits his head open with an axe. Well, listening, yeah. well, telling him about the, the, the views. And the, he's walking around, and he's got all the like tarp laid out around him to, so it stays clean. He's walking around with the axe, and he barely even notices. And then eventually he turns, he says, hey, Paul. Of course, and this splits his head open in that moment. Yeah, so... Um, Dude, so right now we're just we're after our argument we're uh, we're looking through we're looking through a synopsis to see which What's scene is actually first. Mandela effect. Yeah, which scene's actually first and which one's last. It must be that. So it's just bear with us right here because Steven's on a mission for some odd reason. Because I thought he kicks the crap out of the homeless man more so when he meets Gene. No, I know it's in the beginning because I started watching it. With my girlfriend, she made me turn it off like 15 minutes into the movie. Because it was that close to the beginning. Yes, it, it was. It, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty close. It's like one of the first scenes to show you how psycho it's it is. Psycho, I don't care. Mark read the book. So. You did? I was book. I read the book when I was in middle school, so I really wasn't mature enough to be reading it. But I read it, and it was really good, actually. It's it's. Uh, I will say for anyone's listening, the book is... Uh, ten times more graphic than the movie, and the movie is extremely graphic as it is. So it just gives more detail. I know he kills him, kills the home, homeless. For anyone there. listening, to this it doesn't matter. Yes, Steven, it, does. it really doesn't matter. Can you go back to the homeless? Yeah, if you. I want to see how much time we have left. I will if you admit. I will if you. Admit. Fine, it's first. It's it's. Do you whatever. truly believe that? Yes, I guess. Now go back to the thing. It was first. <laughs> This is just going to be us in silence when Stephen looks up. This. Oh, it's still recording. You can see us, but you're just not looking at it. Let's see. So, to wrap up things, well, first off, we'll do a break. Uh, did anyone hear the breaking news that yesterday that they're going to make a new Batman movie? No. It's already in Again? development. Yes, yeah, they're going to make I think they're going to make a trilogy to it. I haven't seen they're gonna it. They're going to make a Batman. Batman. How do you guys not remember that, though? I'm still. I, like, it's the know. beginning of the movie. And then later in the movie. Why are you saying? Because later in the movie, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, because that's like right yeah, before he, he goes, goes he off and kills the police. Do you not remember? He does it the first time. He brings him over the first time. And then they leave, and he brings her over a second time. And, and she, he, like, tries he brings to her over the first time, and then doesn't he do something with her? And she like doesn't want to come back, and then he lures her into the... With more money. And yeah. Stuff. And she comes back, and then she tries to run away, and then he drops the chains on her. But she's suspicious. The she, tries to, she tries to walk out, and she opens a closet 
with dead bodies in it. And she just was freaks the, out. I thought that was the first kill was the staircase. Yeah, I thought that no, was too. No, 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 no. What's the first kill then? The hobo. It's the hobo. I'm pretty sure it's the hobo. Oh, no, it's not. It might be somebody else. It might be some like minor. Could be Paul out. No, no it's the hobo. I don't think anyone died before the chainsaw. That's what, I thought that was the very first one. No. No. No, 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 no. I don't think it is. The more I think about it. I don't remember the movie. That's why I wanted to talk about the Sonic children. But here we are. It's not that. I don't remember that well. Thank you. I just remember it sucked. It was horrible. What sucked? So you don't even remember the details about it. So you, you wouldn't know if it was good or bad. I remember watching it and throwing up. Rock. Probably because you're gross now. <laughs> <laughs> Just have weak stomach. Uh, well, I'm almost certain it is. Okay, well, we can get back to this, I guess. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, I guess the I guess the final question to wrap up the podcast is: How did everyone feel about the ending? Thank God you bought that this for me. Fine. Oh, I, I didn't, didn't like the ending too much. Well, but, okay, why don't you like the ending? Though? I haven't really got down to the bottom of that. Um. Well, it's been a while. I forgot like most of my reasons. I just not like it. Kind of like how hard it is. But he, I just don't like how it just he's about to get caught, and then he just cuts to another scene where he's fine, and he just doesn't remember how yeah, we it, got there. It shows that it's all in his head. Yeah, but he doesn't know anything. No, no, no. It the that. the ending leaves it up to the viewer to decide if this was yeah. all on his head or if he truly did all this stuff. And especially the scene with the notebook. I mean, it's just. I think some of it shows that like people like don't realize that like, like he's killing these people because they're on Wall Street and they're so like engulfed with themselves they don't even realize. It. Yeah, and that's one of the underlying messages. Yeah. I I like the ending. It allows it you to wrapped, wrapped up a little better. I mean, how would you have wrapped it? Up? I just I mean, I mean, it's a story where it's not like supposed that. to wrap up perfectly. It's supposed to have like questions. But how would you have wrapped it up? Yeah, how would you have wrapped like, that movie up? Him, him exactly. getting caught in a normal, typical. If not, not with him just movie. getting caught, then this is not a good movie. Like, well, it's not a good story. That it's, yeah. it's a waste. Yeah, I'm not. That's why I'm not a writer. <laughs> well, then, then why are you critiquing the? Yeah, writer? why are you critiquing him? Um, did we go over the budget of the you film? You two aren't writers either. <laughs> what kind of argument? <laughs> uh, the budget. <laughs> the budget was actually the budget. <laughs> the budget was low. I guess I get for like yeah. big feature films, seven million. Normally, I mean, but it, for how I big mean, the movie and how much no, 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 it, it was not big at the time. It flopped in the box. Yeah, office. I think box office was only what thirty four. Gross worldwide was thirty four million. I mean, it flopped in the box but office, but it's become a lot. Yeah, yeah, now it's a lot bigger, and it's now any more like an indie film. It's like a cult classic. Yeah, it's compared to the room, movie. it's really bad, but people like it. No, it's not Harley. You know, get out of here. Just you're done. You're done. <laughs> podcast. Get off the podcast. We're taking you out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, IBM, IMDB. Gave it a 7.6. IBM. <laughs> yeah, I, I, is that really what it gave? I yeah, think it's, I'd give it like an 8 or 8.5. That seems I gave it a 9. Yeah, but you gotta think IMDB's full of guys who are like. Who were paid yeah. to critique movies yeah. and yeah, stuff snotty, like that. Snotty, like, movie reviewers. Like you. Like you. Yeah, really. <laughs> like yeah. you, too. No, that's you. Finally, <laughs> okay. You would know what, why you would like it. What was your, what was your rating of it? Uh, three. Seriously. Three. Be serious. What was your rating of it? Three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what movie would you, like, what movie would you have rather watched than this movie? Anything. I would have rather watched the, bat, the new Batman film. It's not going to come out for a really while. It's going to be like two years. Okay, so... Hey, will, by the time the new Batman comes out, I want to know what you're doing. With I didn't even like the new Batman that much either. It was three hours Mark, long. It'll probably be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? What did you guys do? I so care. I guess we'll go around and give it ratings. I would give it an 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Give it, give it a 9? What about you? Eight and a half? Eight, eight. Brian talking to you, Carly, so. Three. Three. Okay. Three. What movie are we at? We're going to do next? Uh, well, a film we've thought about doing is The Bells of Prague. But if Miss Trent won't show it to us, I guess our next movie will be The Batman. The, the Batman. The newest one out. I still need to watch that. Well, watch it. It's on HBO Max now. Yeah. 
Okay, this has been Men's Movies, and we've done our first movie review, and thank you for watching. All right.